Good morning from Groovy Eggs Farm. I am Jeff. Today is Wednesday, day three. It is 95 degrees sunny and it's a nice breeze uh, here in the shade. It's not all that bad. I've got baby chicks ready to come out of the incubator probably tomorrow. Uh, maybe one batch tonight. Anyway, I have heat plates. I like to use heat plates for the baby chicks and I have a couple that need to be cleaned up and get ready to go. So we can watch that or you can watch the chickens and ankle biters in the background. Ready for the baby chicks. I use those red bases. That's from a one gallon waterer. And I uh, like this one here. But the tops of those things break all the time. So I can still get use out of them. I just put those green waterers on top of it and it helps prevent splashing, etc. I got the, the heat plates already placed in there. And uh, I can put the food and water in there and we'll be good. And while I was in the scrubbing mood, I cleaned up this old uh, cooler that was, it was laying around here when I bought it. So, and now I've got an ice maker, I can test it out, see if it still keeps stuff cold. Time for lunch, time to get out of these wet, sweaty clothes, time to take a nap. Uh, later today, I will be handling some baby chicks. So yeah, I'll catch you later, later today with some baby chicks. I might take a couple of groups out there uh, right before dark and I'll bring you along. Nap time is over. All right, let's see how many chicks we have hatched. Uh, yesterday, Tuesday was hatch day. That was day 21. And so I always leave them in one more day. Uh, they are fine in there for a few days after they hatch. 16 baby black copper morons. Yeah. And a sleepy Fifi right there. But yeah, these are cute. And I've added nine uh, Whiting True Blues. Those are the brown chipmunk looking ones. Those are from the Blue Feather color flock. And so I'm hoping, even though they're born brown with uh, chipmunks, I hope some of them will grow up to be the blue, lavender, gray color that I really enjoy.
16 black copper morons and nine white and true blues from the blue flock and I can raise these together because they don't look like each other <laughs> uh, if I were putting more than one variety and they did look like each other I'd put leg bands on them but uh, these little dudes the copper morons are all black and they've got feathered legs and none of the white and true blues are black and none of them have feathered legs so 25 baby chicks and I can all raise them in here for a couple weeks and then they'll be good to go outside well they're already outside they'll be good to go uh, further outside to a brooder all right next batch and here we have 16 noisy little white and true blues from my duck wing flock Sixteen white and true blue duck wings in this little brooder. Then I've got sixteen black copper morons and nine white and true blues in this brooder. So that makes forty-one, but I've still got another incubator. You two sharing a window? I sure am glad you guys get along. Yes, I am. We do not like cat fights around here. What are you doing both in the same window? You are you're looking out there to see what I'm doing? Are you afraid of these little baby chicks? No, you're not. Alright, I gotta open up another incubator and count the baby chicks. And these eight little ones are number two's great grandkids. They all have the same father, but there are four different mothers. Uh, one is brown, one is black, and then two of the mothers were white. So that kind of explains uh, six white ones, one black one, and one uh, chipmunk one. And they don't all have the crest, but some of them do have the crest. Let's get a closer look at some of them. Thank you. 
Yes, I put the eight from uh, number two's legacy flock in here with my Anconas. Uh, there's only about an eight day difference, so they are uh, close enough in age I can raise them together. I've done this quite often and uh, not had any problems. So, And with the Anconas, I know what they look like. So I will not uh, mix up number two's legacy flock with the Anconas because the Anconas have a very specific feather color pattern. So yeah, uh, I got 20 in here and got 25 in there. They found the food and I got 16 in here. 49 new baby chicks on the farm. I am happy about that. As you'll recall, I started out with 125 eggs went into the incubator and 49 of them hatched. That does not sound like a good hatch rate and it is not a good hatch rate, but I had a lot of older eggs in there. Typically you want to get the eggs in within a week of them being laid. Uh, after like day five, your hatch rate starts going down. And so some of these were, uh, most of them were older than a week and uh, a big chunk of them were older than two weeks. So I am happy with this, uh, with this hatch. Might be a few more that hatch. Um, I will keep the incubators going for another couple days and keep my eyes open. Probably won't be any more that hatch, but uh, I have had, I've had them hatch two, I had one hatch three days late before. So I will keep my eye on those. Uh, all right, that's all I got for today. Keeping me busy with the chicken breeding business. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks for sticking with me to the end of vlog to vlog it. Not October yet. Maybe I should do it again in October. I don't know. Maybe I will. Uh, I had a good nap, but now it's time for dinner and to uh, take it easy the rest of the night as I'm editing tons of clips of baby chicks. Thanks for watching. Take it easy, everybody.